I am so excited. I got an RX 6600. And you might be like, why are you so excited? RX 6600, don't you already have an RX 6800 XT if you've been following the channel and all that? Yeah, but I'm excited to test this out against the GTX 1060 that I got. Now, I'm not gonna do all that testing in this video. This is more of an unboxing video, but I'm interested. A lot of people have a GTX 1060, which, I, according to my recent testing, and I'll do more of it, is still kind of getting the job done at 1080p, but it is struggling a little bit. Well, this is AMD's cheapest and uh, 1080p focused card out there. And right now we know that the GPU prices are just insane, but I have been following it. And at least from my end, I feel like I've been seeing these more available and for lower prices, although grabbing them at MSRP is still tough, than I have seen with a lot of the other cards, especially like the 3060, which theoretically has the same $329 MSRP. But okay, that's a theoretical MSRP, guys. <laughs> um, a lot of 3060s I see are going for like six, seven, eight hundred dollars And so if you're not willing to spend that much money, but you could score one of these, sometimes they're in bundle deals and things like that, but man, is it worth it? And that's what I'm interested in some future testing. 1060 versus this, and also just this on its own merits, and I'll be testing them out in the upcoming games. Let's unbox this thing. By the way, isn't this the, the uh, SXFX uh, one that um, Tech Jesus Steve over at Gamers Nexus was making fun of? Swift, right? But like in, in, in some spots on the box, it actually, uh, I, I, can't, I don't have a camera guy, can we focus on this? It actually says Swift, right? <laughs> okay. But in, uh, you know, the big front packaging here, I guess they leave the vowel out. Is, is that intentional? Is that intentional? Guys, anybody from XFX watching the video, is that on purpose or is that actually a typo on, 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 your, on your big box here? Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. So we know this is an eight gigabyte card and um, I think eight gigabytes is absolutely plenty for 1080p. I know the 3060 has 12 gigabytes, but like I said, I think in the actual market, they're not necessarily priced the same. So just because um, the 3060 came out earlier with like a theoretically better MSRP doesn't mean that's what you're really getting. All right, let's uh, open the box. So we've got pretty standard, uh, you know, GPU packaging here. Got some foam, got some warranty cards, and we got ourselves a GPU. Okay. All right. Got got some got some sticky tape here. Ah. Got some sticky tape. <laughs> here it is. Okay. Wow. Looks looks shiny and new. It's a can I get the, get the camera to actually focus on you guys? I'm not really set up, you know, great with a camera guy or, or even a table. I saw a comment on my 1060 video and they're like, can this, can somebody get this guy a table? Can we donate him a table? Uh, well, you, you could click my join button guys if you want to fund my channel monthly. Uh, <laughs> I think I might have a PayPal link too. Buy me a table, feel free. But seriously though, uh, let's do a peel. Let's better have a good peel. Focus on, focus on the thing, camera, okay. Wait, where's the peel? Okay. Not a bad peel. I, I think that was a satisfying peel. All right, I, I think we have some more peels to do. Got some more peels uh, over the XFX uh, logo here. Can I... Uh, actually see this. <laughs> okay, around the fans. Uh, you know what? This peel is less satisfying, guys. Ah, kind of breaking up a bit. Well, 
That peel was maybe less satisfying, but there's the shot. You got the fans. It's got this dual fan design. The 1060 I'm going to be putting this up against is just that little single fan. <laughs> shot of the back plate. All right, let's, let's uh, take a look at the ports we've got. So, oh, looks like a display port. Looks like another display port. Hey, there's an HDMI. This should be HDMI 2.1 since it's a 6000 series card, which is good for me on my LG uh, C1 OLED over there. I need, I need that HDMI if I'm going to be using it on that. Now, I know this is more of a 1080p card, but that doesn't mean we can't be testing it out on some other stuff too. Looks like we've got one uh, eight pin power connector here. And here's a shot of the uh, back end grill thing. All right. Well, should we put this in the PC? Sh should we do it? Take that 1060 out and try, try this thing out? At least make sure it works? Let's do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the case. So I'll probably at some point test this out on my high-end uh, 5950X platform, but for now I wanna get some uh, tests of it running in the same system I've been running my GTX 1060. Uh, so this is my older i5-9600K build, because while it's nice when you're testing a GPU to see what it can do when it's not at all limited by the CPU, I think it's also useful when doing benchmark videos to do them in a system that's more similar to what somebody who actually has that card might have in terms of the CPU. So that's one reason why I've been doing some tests using this, uh, you know, a few years old i5 platform rather than just the high-end 5950X platform. Because let's face it, nobody with the 1060 is running a 5950X, or probably also not a uh, 6600. So I'm going to put it in here for now, but like I said, I will also try it out in my higher end build. Let's get the uh, power cable off of here. Oh, I kind of feel stuck. Am I just dumb? I think I'm just dumb. All right. So, there is that 1060 I'm replacing it with. And we will be pitting these cards up against each other in many, many future videos. At least that's the plan, uh, especially as new games come out. Let's go ahead and uh, check that out, kind of a comparison of the two. So we definitely seem to have a beefier cooler on the, uh, I guess I could turn them the same way. <laughs> Seems to be a beefier cooler on the 6600 for sure. Although both of them uh, feel small now that I have a 6800 XT. <laughs> you know? um, all right, let's go ahead and drop this in here. And uh, Pro tip, make sure you actually take the little, you know, uh, plastic cover off the PCIe thing. <laughs> All right, let's get this in the system. Again, apologies if the camera goes out of focus or anything. I am uh, still fairly new to YouTube and doing this as a hobby. Like, I just got my kids to bed. I have some grading to do, but we're going to, you know, shoot a video <laughs> in between. Um which is one reason why I think it's uh, really exciting. I will mention, full disclosure, I didn't pay for this. I bought the GTX 1060. Um, AMD actually reached out to me and sent me a review sample. So this 6600 is actually my very first GPU review sample. I guess this is how I know my uh, little hobby channel is starting to, uh, starting to make it, I guess. I don't know what make it means in terms of YouTube, but... Hey, we passed 10,000 subs recently, and um, I've only been doing this about a year, and I even took a few months off. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty excited with how the channel's going. So thank you, everybody who subscribed. 
And thank you, AMD, for the review sample. Um, maybe it won't be the only one. Maybe there's more to come. We shall see. Um, yeah, let's get this power connector in here. I hate that. I know why there's a 6 plus 2 pin, but it's so annoying sometimes trying to get it to line up. Now, one difference between these cards definitely will be the power consumption. The, uh, the 1060... Uh, just has the six pin connector there and this has the eight and I don't know the exact power numbers But I'm sure this while not drawing a ton of power um, Probably is drawing more than the 1060 does All right, I think that's it. We should fire this thing up and see if it actually works All right, well I installed the graphics drivers and honestly I've been enjoying Battlefield lately so I went ahead and fired that up and I'm using the AMD software to monitor the performance. And I'm actually going to try running this at first at the full 3440 by 1440. Now, this is really more of a 1080p card, so perhaps I'm being a little bit unfair. But hey, I'm actually getting... Currently, I'm in the mid-70s performance-wise. Looks good. And by the way, I'm at, I'm at high settings. This is, this is not on low. So this is running the game at 3440 by 1440. This is Battlefield 5. And we are on the um, uh, DX11 with the graphics settings set to high. Let's kill the V-Sync. I don't need that. And let's go ahead and yeah, mid 70s, things look good. Expect some future testing uh, coming soon. This was just more of the unboxing and installation. I'm gonna uh, you know own some, own some noobs here and get you guys some videos in the future testing this out and possibly versus the 1060, not because it's a fair comparison, but to see if it's enough better to be worth the upgrade since a lot of people are still sitting on that 1060. Well, I should probably stop talking and actually win the game, so I'll see you guys next time.